Think about to become words, which be your actions. Think about going to become your reality. What is all this stuff called? I know it's a. Is it Wi-Fi or ours? I'm trying to figure it out. I think the Wi-Fi is a little messed up. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Is that better like that? Okay. Go ahead and talk. I'm so sorry. It was like it was kind of pausing, but I hear you good now. Okay, no, I was just saying it starts with the mindset. Change your mind, change your life. Your thoughts become words, which become actions, and that becomes the rest of your life. So I feel like when you change your mindset, everything else falls into place. No, for real. Like, I feel like a lot of people think it's just only about working and the connections. But, like, if you're working and making connections but you're negative, I feel like you're, nothing good is going to happen. 100%. 100%. And, that, and that's so, so important, like, some people feel like, you know, of course I have talent. Of course I'm talented in what I do, but also I am where I am because of the way I treat people. Like yep. networking and connections is so important. Being a good person will, you know, that will last the test of time. Like be a good person and that'll bring you opportunities that talent and skill can't. Exactly. No, I, I love that you said that because it's like, I feel like in my life, I, I work really fucking hard and a lot of people haven't seen all that you know i'm on a show where i'm kind of chilling so they just see me laughing taking it easy and they i love you on that show, by the way what? i said i love you oh, on that show by the thank way thank you so much you know i do what i can <laughs> you know it's sometimes hard when there's guests and talking over the sides and stuff you know but um uh i appreciate that you still you know like me on the show as much as you get to see me yeah but yeah, no, I feel like, um, like I, that's what I just love so much though, is that you talk so much about positive energy and that, you know, that mindset, like a lot of people I think have kind of hated on just like, you know, people I grew up with or whatever, who I went to school with and they kind of be hating like, oh, she had it easy, Rob Deerdeck helped her. And I'm like, dude, like I worked my ass off, but I also was always happy. Like when I, no, I'm not trying to say that. I kind of attracted like nice things back to myself. And so I love that you are that same wavelength and I just like admire it so much. Um, but I talk to you also about your comedy because you're fucking hilarious. How did you get into comedy? And like, was that what you wanted to do as a little girl or how did you get into it? Actually, I wanted to do music, which I still kind of dabble in now, but um, comedy kind of took off. Like, you know, yeah. when Instagram had the first Instagram was just pictures, then it started off with video and then it was like one minute videos. I would just make videos like showing my personality and that's what took off. Like people gravitated towards my personality way more than my music. So I was like, if this is what y'all want, this is what y'all want. Um, then I got the opportunity to be on Wild and Out. So that's kind of what catapulted me as a comedian. I never called yeah. myself a comedian till I was on Wild and Out. And I was like, all right, like I'm on a sketch comedy show. Like this is comedy. Like I'm a comedian. So I started, you know, taking the title comedian after I got on Wild and Out. And now I do stand up. Like stand up is the biggest, was my one of my biggest fears. But now it's like, I overcome that every time I get on the stage. So it's so rewarding. I love stand up, but it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's hard. Stand up is, I think, the hardest form of like performance. Yeah. Like it's harder than no, performing. No, I feel music like it would be too. I mean, even being on ridiculousness, like when I perform music, it's like that's something I've rehearsed. You know, like I know my lyrics, I know the dance moves. So it's a lot easier. But like even ridiculousness, you know, it's a lot more, it's a freestyle element and I'm supposed to be funny. And I get exactly what you're saying, you know, like. It, it could get like a little bit more nerve wracking because you got to make them laugh. And like when people like your music and they're coming to your show, they already like your music. You know what I mean? But like when you're, telling jokes, yeah, when you're telling jokes, it's like, how, yeah, you don't know, know how it. it's going to go over. They might, they might not even just be in the mood to laugh that day. And then it's like, it's like, it's <laughs> so like, I feel you. Yep. Like you're, you're gonna have good energy but sometimes like i know as soon as my foot hits the stage yeah. i'm like damn this is gonna be a tough crowd you can just feel the energy or sometimes you're like crowd is lit they're happy